You, my friend, are the bravest man in the world. I'll tell you why. Because every guy thinks he can beat James Bond. The, the dumbest, stupid, every guy, I don't know any guy that would stand up and sing the Mamma Mia thing. That is, <laughs> no. No, it's, it's true. It's true. When I, I said, I didn't know you were a singer. Did you ever sing in anything? This is, to me, this is braver than any James Bond thing. Oh, it, it took certain <laughs> cojones to get up there and do that. That's for sure. You know, my family, they endured many months of dad trying to sing. You know, but, I mean, uh, it I, seemed like a great idea. And I yeah. think it was still a good, good idea. In fact, I might even go back into the studio. But, uh, <laughs> but had you had any singing training? Obviously not. <laughs> well, I know, but, but I mean, that, that's what I mean. I mean, it seems like one of those career risks where you go, okay, people know me, I got this, because it's either going to be a huge success or... Well, oh I knew God. the show. I mean, I knew the play yeah. was a huge success. So I went to see that in London, right. and when the job came in, I, I really did <laughs> chuckle. Uh, my, my agent said, we got, we got an offer. I said, great. He said, Meryl Streep. I said, fantastic. Mamma Mia. I said, you're kidding. They want me? <laughs> so, uh, but I, I saw the play, <coughs> and I thought, why not? And, uh, you know, all three of us, the guys, were in the same boat. So how did you prepare? I mean, what... It <coughs> the, 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 the musical director came round to the house one day. He came on a Saturday morning. He... He, he, he took out his organ, and, um, and uh, sounds, that sounds his, terrible, his, he had a, you know, this little piano, oh, and, uh, piano. Okay. and uh, piano organ, and proceeded to go through the songs, mm -hmm. and then he left me with an iPod, and then for the next six, eight weeks, I went around listening Wait. to SOS. Well, so. congratulations, you did a great job. I, I, I commend you on it. Oh, well, thank now, you very much. Now, I know you're just thank in, you. uh, you're in Hawaii for a couple of weeks. I, I, we were in Hawaii, yes, yeah. we have a little place out there, yeah. and that's, that's very sure. comfortable and little nice. Little place in Hawaii. Well, it's, yeah. a, it's a little cottage, it's a three-bedroom cottage. Yeah. So you do the uh, whole water sport, are you a whole water sports guy? I do a bit of stand-up paddleboarding. Stand-up yeah. paddleboarding? Yeah, okay. uh, stand-up is a very elegant thing to do, and yeah. it's, it's kind of, uh, well, it has a certain elegance to it. Uh, and do you swim with the dolphins, you do that thing? Uh, uh, no, I, I haven't swam with the dolphins. Well, actually, sometimes the dolphins are in the bay, it's amazing. In, you know, in well, I know you're English, you wait to be asked, but uh, you tend to swim with them. Irish. They don't have Irish. To. I Irish. mean Irish. Irish. I mean, Come on. I mean United but, Kingdom. I mean European. I European. 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 Not so, okay. um... But yeah, I mean, I, I, I have over the years uh, gone out there into the waters. I, I've been with the whales in San Ignacio Lagoon, which yeah. uh, is a breeding ground for the great whale. I went down there years ago and was with my son. and. Uh, he was about 10 at the time, and he was putting his head in the water, singing to the whales. I tried the same thing, and the, the whales sneezed all over me. You know, just, you know, the blowhole. Wow. I was slimed by Slime. a whale. Slime. And I don't even know what whale snot so. is like. I can't imagine what that is like. Well, I don't think it was whale snot, actually. No, no, no. But talking of whales, yeah. <laughs> you know, um, it appears that they want to start whaling again. It appears that, just to throw this in, because we're going to talk about The Oceans, right. which is a beautiful film. It's, yeah. it's a wonderful film. I did see this. Now, the United States government has said what? They can... Well, they seem to be in favor of allowing Japan and Norway to go out and hunt whales again. And there's... I mean, how can we stop them? I know we don't allow it here. Does that mean they can hunt in our waters? What does that mean? It, it means that they can go out there and start killing whales. And it's, it's in the moratorium, there's, it's not determined how many they can kill. So, yeah. I mean, morally, it, it's, um, there's no justification for killing these creatures. Scientifically, there's no justification yeah, sure. for killing these creatures. And so if you want to do something about stopping the possible slaughter uh, of whales, then you have to... Pick up the phone and call the White House. Well, yeah, well, and, that's a good idea, and, and this film will certainly help. It'll I certainly think so. Help. I think when you see this film, yeah. I mean, it really is it just, it is so lyrical and uh, so, so much celebrates yeah. our oceans. Hey, I want to ask you something else. I heard there might be a sequel to the Thomas Crown Affair. Is this true? Well, we've talked about it, but it's mm -hmm. very difficult to, to, to get this script in, in the mm -hmm. right shape. And uh, I never saw this as a sequel. I mean, when, yeah. when we did it, it was going to be a one-off movie, and as far as I was concerned, it was. But, well, you uh, and Rene Russo people... had great chemistry. <clears throat> we did. We now, did how, now, how does your wife react to these love scenes? When you take a, oh, honey, the premiere is tonight, and <laughs> you missed all over something. <laughs> She calls it legal cheating. Is it legal cheating? <laughs> really? That's, is that what you call it? Is that what she calls it? No, she doesn't call it no, that. Keely, well, she coined the phrase one day. Yeah. Uh, no, she, uh, she's uh, very trusting and loving yeah. of her uh, husband. And well, I, well, suppose I, the shoe was on the other foot. She says, honey, I've got a part in a film. I'm going to be opposite to so-and-so. We have a sex scene. If the shoe was on the other foot, I'd hit the guy in the gub with it. Really? Well, <laughs> I would be... Right. So, so, I'd be right. so it's basically a one-way street, is what you're saying. It's basically a one-way yeah. street.